business credit for recession times. How can we utilize business credit so that we can save the businesses and also your real estate? Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Daniel, one half of the Quack Brothers, and today I've got my best friend, Mr. Melvin Johnson. Welcome back, my sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I like the little polo, too. It's Thank nice. You've seen this before. I've seen this before, yeah. We've done some videos. Yeah. Don't act like you're new here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so today we're going to talk about business credit. Uh, I'm going to ask Melo questions on, you know, what is it, of course, because we want a little reminder. If you guys haven't checked out our video on business credit, go ahead and check that out as well on how he went from zero to 2.5 million in nine months, yes, right? Sir. Nine months. So we're also going to talk about how how to use business credit for times such as today, right? With all the volatility that's going on. Before we go ahead and do that, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got a lot of great content coming out, especially for what's going to happen in the market. So first things first, welcome back. And the uh, first question being, remind us a little bit, the viewers, in a minute or less, 60 seconds or less, what is business credit? So business credit is for anyone who has a uh, business, a uh, uh, entity, a uh, LLC, S Corp, LLP, even sort of a sole prop to some degree. Mm -hmm. And it's for those who uh, wish to have business credit that is associated, that's separate from their social security. It's in a nutshell, that's pretty yeah. much it. So I don't want you to get obviously too deep because you talk about that, you know, in our zero to mm -hmm. 2.5 million video. Uh, so number two, you know, I know you're a real estate investor as well. You're a yeah. business owner. You're very deep in the credit and banking space. You know, what do you foresee happening, right? I mean, we put out a lot of these great market update videos, but what do you see happening in the credit and the business credit and banking space, you know, the next six to nine months? Yeah, I'm glad that you shortened it to the last, next six to nine because I think it's easy to track what's going to happen. I think we're going to see sort of a, a steady progression of banks sort of tightening, uh, lending. We're seeing that now. Uh, Sam and I were talking yesterday, uh, you even have certain banks that are already sort of closing down, even on the personal side, some of the uh, lending that they were doing, such as like HELOCs, he loans, that sort of thing. So in the business space, I think you're going to see a lot of that tightening up if you don't have prior relationships with the bank before uh, the market sort of continues to progress in the way that it's going. Yeah. I think that right now would be one of those times that right. start sort of implementing that. Yeah, 100%. And you know, one of the things I love to do is I love to translate what a lot of people say in terms of guests and translate to action steps for these guys to take advantage of and start doing today. So I heard you say building a relationship with the bank. What does that look like? So building a relationship with the bank is just simply uh, establishing some kind of relationship on a, a lending scale. So you want to have a, f you want them to be familiar with you to some capacity. Yeah. So maybe opening up in a bank account, maybe opening up a, a credit card or a line of credit with that bank. Uh, not necessarily a line of credit, but maybe a credit card or in just a just something as simple as a, a bank account. Right, or a business checking account. Or a business checking yeah. account, of course, you know. And that way they're able to monitor what kind of lender uh, they have with them, right? Yeah. Rather than them going and having to sort of assess the company through your previous checking account, or maybe you don't have one and you're relying heavily on the personal side. You want to have that relationship right now. I think that would be one of the action steps that I would take if if I'm looking to take advantage of the market going forward, you know, within the next six to nine months, establishing a yeah. business checking account. Yeah. And especially when we're talking about, you know, for recessionary times, and of course, technically speaking, we are currently in a recession. Yes. These are things that these guys can do now. Now, using business credit, and I know you use business credit for real estate, for business before, you know, you've done some phenomenal projects, you know, beautiful homes and things of that nature. Uh, but considering in light of what you've done with business credit, what are some things that these guys can do with business credit during recessionary times? Yeah, well, with the business credit during now, I mean, I think it's an awesome time to sort of start building that the business credit. I think that uh, it's one of those things where you have this motto, if you're with, with me in the hard times, of course, when the, the sun begins to shine again, you're going to be looked on favorably, yeah. you know, as individuals that banks will lend to, you know, in the future. So uh, sort of maintaining a healthy relationship with the credit that you previously have right now on the business side, uh, opening new accounts with sort of the smaller vendors, right? So right now the net 30 accounts and the sort of the uh, net 55 accounts, sort of that maintaining those and sort of uh, asking for increases during the right times and sort of managing that right now. I think that that is um, that's key. You know, I would say that that's key to making sure that 
you take advantage as yep. much as you possibly can of the credit that is being extended to uh, corporations right now. That would be one of the the major sort of small things that you can do right now mm. to to make sure that you're taking yeah. advantage. Of so, it. what would you say to those individuals who are asking you? It's like, well, Melo, you know, um, these are tough times. Our, our bank is starting to tighten in terms of you know some some banks are not even taking on applications anymore for certain line of credit programs. What would you say to those individuals to help mitigate? that process for business for applying for business credit and wanting to use it for opportunistic right times right that we are in opportunistic strategies that are available what would you say to those people who say well you know there's there's a lot of there's a lower chance of me getting business credit because all these banks are tightening how would you mitigate that yeah i would say that you know and this is why i talked about it in the video that we have done with or the partnerships that was that was crucial in raising that amount of line of credit with you know with the 2.5 that yeah. we, I was able to do because I knew that in a time like this me on my own considering my real estate journey had it's fairly new I wouldn't I would be most impacted by uh, sort of a recession like this because I'm not sort of lendable on my own so the strategic partnerships that I had uh, established with individuals who have high net worth good credit score you know they sort of have a track record of even just on the personal side which helped businesses to be able to assess okay what kind of um, what kind of person is this yeah. going to be um, at this particular point because banks want to know that they can trust uh, the business yeah. owners more so than they can the business right now you know so that's why a lot of that is tightening it up so I would say reassess you know where the business is is the business yeah at a place has it because I think this is a phenomenal time for people to really uh, see whether or not they've been building building the business to a point where it is able to stand on its own, or maybe you know maybe not. Yeah, and you have to reevaluate, you know, the partnership or you know the you as the individual owner, the structure of the the company. How have you um, you know built yourself up to? to be bankable in a yeah. time like this. So, so for, for a lot of the individuals that are watching, let's say they're watching this, they they see the business credit for recession, right? And a lot of them are saying, wow, like I know there's going to be opportunistic times mm -hmm. during a recession and I know I can utilize business credit, mm -hmm. you know? So you're saying that number one, build a relationship with the bank, yes, sir. right? Number two, build a relationship with investors who have capital, who are bankable. Mm -hmm. And I would agree with that, right? Because if you're using business credit, you're getting more bang for your buck yes, for those investors. And I know you and I talk a a lot about that off camera. So last but not least, you know, in terms of using business credit, right, for recession proofing, we know that there's opportunities that the banks are going to provide during, op, you know, recessionary times, such as short sales, mm -hmm. right, REOs, right, lease options. These are all things, right, the three things I just mentioned. These are three exit strategies that are very prominent during recessionary times. Yeah. Give us an example with just one of those three things that I just mentioned on how business credit can accelerate yeah. one of those processes. Yeah, for sure. So uh, let's just say for short sale, you know, accelerating yeah. that particular point, that's like, you know, bank, bank center, right? It's one of those things where, so with business credit and sort of, uh, sort of being able to mitigate whatever obstacles that might come up with you being able to obtain the opportunities that may come with acquiring maybe a short sale or whatnot, um, you know, for us per se, we had a you know one of the last properties I bought was actually at a a uh, um, a live auction. Okay. So and similarly, yeah. it was the bank was selling the property, and because of our you know line of credit with our business, you know we were able to show you know a so just a POF from our our lender at that particular yeah. point, and we were able to sort of capitalize on not having the cash. Mm. in hand at that particular point and using that to acquire uh, property. You know, we didn't necessarily need to wait on the IDL or yeah. the PPP that sort of regulates the kind of purchasing that you can do. And although those are great programs, you're not able to do certain things like, right. you know, purchase real estate. Yeah. So, you know, for us, having that line of credit, but most, more so for me, right, having that, the partner, right, the investor who had the the good credit, the sort of the the track record prior to me being able to establish a line of credit, and then having the opportunity to go to a live auction, uh, I was able to use utilize that line of credit, business line of credit to purchase real estate during the time right now. So I wasn't necessarily affected, as affected as everyone else who was 
who was there, you know, who only had yeah. you know, cash. You know, me, that's why I say if cash is king, credit is the twin brother. <laughs> right, know? right. So I was able to utilize that to acquire this last project that we that we purchased. So in, in some capacity, you know, we were sort of safe from what what we're now in, yeah. which is the recession, and we're able to still sort of use that buying power to to, to buy. Properties. Right, and and that buying power will be a lot better because in a short sale, you're typically getting it less For sure. than retail price. Absolutely. You know, so with the combination of building a relationship with the bank, building a relationship with an investor who's bankable to access that business credit, and then you have an opportunity now, right, in the next six yeah. to nine months with recessionary times, a phenomenal opportunity to short sale a property, acquire it for potentially at a discount of the retail. Yeah. So would you say that's a pretty good blueprint? Those three things, that's somebody that somebody watching right now could do today. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that, you know, pe more people are losing homes, right? Yeah. you know, right now. I mean, I think the numbers are skyrocketing in regards to foreclosures and stuff like that. So developing a relationship with this sort of a, a foreclosure agent in your, your local area, you know, just small things that you can do to not sort of overlook the opportunities that you can maximize on right now because you have, uh, I mean, a, a limited amount of opportunities. The base hits that win games, you know, and I know we're looking for the home runs, but, you know, it's those small things that sort of keep you in the game so that when the sort of the air is released from, you know, the bubble, you know, we're all able to breathe again, you're in that much more of a position uh, to sort of even capitalize on the opportunities that'll come there. Yeah. So yeah, you're absolutely right. I think that these right. are sort of three things that people can capitalize on. Awesome. So I want to point these guys to a resource. You know, we, we have a Facebook group together. It's called Business Credit Tips and Tricks. Mm -hmm. The link is in the description below, guys, for you guys to check that out. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe because we want Mellow back on these videos to continue talking about credit so you guys can succeed. Thank you guys so much for Thank watching you. this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.